Hey YouTubers, so it has been quite a while, um, sorry about that, I've been really really busy lately, but I have a new video about all of the special effects makeup that I've bought to start my special effects kit. Um, my partner very very kindly last year for my birthday got me a voucher for Kryolan Cosmetics. Um, and so I went to Kryolan yesterday and I went a little bit crazy and I bought all this amazing good stuff. It's so cool. It's so awesome because I really wanted to start my um, uh, special effects makeup channel um, and obviously there's specific stuff that you need for it. So I'm going to go through uh, my haul. I didn't just go to Kryolan. I also went to Scotty's. Um, which is in Fitzroy, if you haven't been there. Um, so if you're interested to see all the amazing, good, bloody stuff that I got for my special effects haul, just keep watching. So... Most of the stuff that I got was from Krylon. It's in this nice big bag here. Um, and if you're not aware, Krylon um, is this amazing makeup brand. Uh, they do makeup for uh, normal everyday eyeshadows and foundations and concealers and stuff like that. Um, but they also have this amazing special effects range. And basically, if you are a professional working in uh, television or film or theatre, Krylon is the brand to go for. Basically all makeup artists who work on TV and work on um, theatre and do special effects and all that sort of stuff like that, they work with Krylon. So Krylon is actually a German company. They started in 1945 um, and the quality of their products is really, really good. Obviously that means that their products are a lot more expensive, um, but you're really getting what you pay for with that product. I'm gonna go through what I got. It's so awesome, it's so good. Um, so first I'm gonna go through the Kryolan stuff and then I'm gonna go through the Scotty's um, stuff. So I really just wanted to get the basics down in terms of my kit. Um, so I knew that I had to get um, adhesives, I knew I had to get removers, and I knew I had to get like latex and wax and all that sort of stuff like that. Um, so the first I adhesive that I got was Prosate. Now, I always grew up doing stage makeup with uh, spirit gum and spirit gum remover, so I've never actually used Prose before, um, and I wanted to give it a try, but also what I like about this is something that spirit gum doesn't do, is that when you put Prose on, it comes on white, and then as it starts to dry, it goes clear. And so that's how you know when it's at the right amount of tackiness to start sticking your stuff on. Whereas Spirit Gum, it goes on clear and then you have to just sort of guess by touching it with your finger or whatever when it's tacky enough to stick your wax on or your latex on and all that sort of stuff like that. So that's what I really liked about this. And then when I bought it, I realized it says, um, Prozade cream will solidify on freezing but will remain extremely flexible allowing it to be sculpted or molded. So I'm really interested to freeze a bit of it and see how it works and see if I can actually create wounds with frozen prosate rather than with nose and scar wax or something like that. So it's pretty tough to open because it's basically glue. Um, so it comes like that and I'm really struggling to get the lid back on. There, good enough. <laughs> So, um, like I said, I knew that I wanted to get uh, uh, something sticky, some sort of glue, so I knew I had to get some sort of remover. So I got, um, I don't know if it's pronounced Telesis or Telesis, um, but it's either one of those things and it's basically um, a solvent remover. And the reason I got this one is because it will remove not only prose, but it will also remove any latex, um, any spirit gum, it will remove any anything basically. It's known to be the best remover that there is. Again, something that I haven't tried. I haven't actually tried this so we'll see how it goes um, and I'll let you guys know but apparently it's really really good and this is the sensitive skin one as well. Then next I had to get some latex. So there's two different types of latex. You can get thin latex and you can get thick, like, thick latex. So this is just a 100ml bottle of the thin latex. This stuff smells Horrible. It's basically um, 
just latex, but they have to put they have to put ammonia in it to preserve it, and so it just smells like bleach, basically. Um, so this is really good for building layers because it's so thin, and so you can put on a little bit of layer with cotton, and then wait till that dries, and then put another bit of layer on it with cotton and stuff. Um, so I'm very, very eager to use this because I've never used latex before, so I'm really interested to see how it goes. Um, and then I got some thick latex as well. So I'm guessing that this is more for creating actual like scar tissue and all that sort of stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to smell it because I know that it smells horrible. And um, basically it's just the exact same product except that it's thick. Sort of thing. So that's really good. Then I got some sealer. So the sealer is really just to um, seal off the latex or the wax that you use before you put makeup on. If you don't use the sealer to create a barrier between the latex and the makeup, the makeup's not going to stick onto it properly. Um, so I just got a little bottle of that, just a little brush one. So um, I was going to get the bigger one, but I like the brush one because I feel like I've got more um, control with the little brush. And it's especially good for like finer details and stuff like that. So I got that. Um, and then I also got a Supra Color Palette. So if you're unaware with Krylon, there's basically two different types of uh, color applications that you can get. You can get Aqua Color and you can get Supra Color. Derma Color is a type of Supra Color. So basically, Aqua Color are little color palettes that are activated with water. So they're what I use in my stage makeup classes that I do with my students um, and basically it's really good because all you need is a wet sponge and you just dip it in the pot and then you just put it on and it removes with soapy water and it's fantastic. Obviously because it's water based it doesn't last as long um, and it can create issues when you're trying to put it on latex because obviously the more water you add to it um, the more transparent the colour becomes and then you have to put layer upon layer upon layer and it just it's really good for like fine detail work um, if you're doing it professionally um, and it's also really good for like washing it off quickly if you're just doing like a quick Halloween makeup look uh, for a night or if you're doing it for a class but for long lasting things um, you want to go with Super Color. So Super Color is your oil based um, makeups. Derma Color is basically Super Color but it's dermologically good for sensitive skin and all that sort of stuff like that. Dermacolor derma is um, mainly only comes in the colors for foundations and concealers and color correction and all that sort of stuff like that. So you're not going to find like a bright red or yellow or purple in Dermacolor. You're going to find that in Supercolor. So I got a palette of six. Basically um, you can choose whichever colors you want to get. Um, and they just pop it into these little pots. What's really fantastic is that they come up with a little sticker for you and they stick it on there. So if you lose a pot, um, you can always just look back at the sticker and go, oh yeah, go into Krylon, I had number 070, can I have a replacement and all that sort of stuff like that. Um, so like I said, these are oil-based slash grease-based paints. And um, I wanted to get colors that I can use around my eyes because I got um, alcohol activated colored paints from Scotty's, which I'll go over in a second. But it's also advised that you don't use alcohol colored paints in your eyes because obviously like the, it can affect them and all that sort of stuff like that. So that's why I decided to get the uh, super colors. I already have a bruise wheel somewhere in my house so I didn't want to get bruise colors and um, I wanted to get colors that I can use to create wrinkles or I can use to create burns and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so I got a black and a white um, just because I feel like they're staples that you need. I got this really nice sort of reddish colour that I feel I could use for bruises or burns. Um, I got a colour that's pretty much the exact same as my skin tone so I, if I need to make my latex piece look like my skin then I can do that. Um, I got like this brown colour for creating wrinkles and creating um, recesses within my skin because you've got to remember 
dark colours recede, light colours come out. Um, and then I got a gold because the gold was pretty, basically. So I thought that was really nice. So um, these little pots um, just sort of sit in the actual, like they've got like a clicky in system. And they come with a little lid so that you don't accidentally dig into them. Um, this whole palette itself is like $79. And that's just the six of them. So if you want to get 12 or God forbid you want to get 24, it's very expensive. So I just started off with the six because I felt like that's really all I could afford for now. Um, and it's just the basics as well. So once I start to build it up more, then I can get more colors and I can replace them. So the last things that I bought were all blood things, which I'm really excited about because there's one thing on the list that I've been wanting for years and I finally have. I'm going to save that one to last. Um, so the next thing I bought was a fresh scratch. Um, so this is really fantastic for doing grazes, um, for doing like um, road rash and all that sort of stuff like that. I also find that blood will cover up any issues that you have with your makeup. If your stage makeup is looking a bit fake, shove some blood on it, it'll look amazing. This comes um, in a whole bunch of different sizes. The reason I got the smaller size is because in the past I've bought the bigger tubs, which are around about that big. I've bought the bigger tubs and I've found that they dry too quickly for me to use them. And so then I end up throwing them out, which is a real waste considering that this stuff is very expensive. Um, so I got the small tub because A, I'm the only person who's going to be using it, and B, I don't want it to be a case of, I use it a couple of times, I go back to it, it's dried out, and then I have to throw it out, and I can't use it anymore. So it's really fantastic. It's like this really sticky, let me show you. I'm gonna take the lid off, it's like, Super gloopy and sticky. How cool is that? It's like really awesome. Love it. It's already like all over my fingers as well. But it's really fantastic. I this is like my go-to blood product. Whenever I'm doing um, scars, whenever I'm doing bullet wounds, this is my go-to blood product because not only does it create a great scratch effect but it also creates a great blood clotting effect as well. And because it's so thick and gloopy, it just grosses people out pretty much immediately. Um, so they get distracted by the grossness and don't look too closely at the um, unprofessionalness of my um, stage makeup. Um, the next thing I got was just a bottle of FX Blood. So again, this is in 100 mils. Um, I was actually tossing up between getting this and getting the special blood. I originally was going to get the special blood because you can use the special blood in your mouth. Um, so that I really liked the idea of, you know, you just pour a little bit in there and then you just sort of like let it spill out and it all dribbling down your chin and stuff like that. And then when I went there and I tested out the special blood, it was really opaque. It was really powdery looking and it did not look real whatsoever. Um, and so then when I had a look at the effects blood, it really did behave and look like blood would behave and look like. It's unfortunate that um, you can't use this in your mouth, but at the end of the day, I suppose I could always just put it like around a little bit, um, or if I really needed to, I could get like blood capsules and I could use blood capsules. Um, this does stain, um, but it comes off pretty easily with baby wipes and remover and stuff like that. It comes in two colours. I got the dark colour, but it also comes in light as well. So the last thing I got from Krylon, and it's the thing that I'm most excited about, this is what I've been wanting for years and years and years, it is eye blood. So um, if you are subscribed to Glam Gore, you would have seen her use this quite a few times. It's basically um, an eyedropper filled with blood. Uh, that can go in your eyes, not just around your eyes. So there's two different ways that you can use it. You can um, actually like open up your eyelid, drop it in, and then blink and let it bleed down so that it looks like you're crying blood. Or you can just sort of like rub it on the inside of your like eye basically. 
onto your actual eyeball and it creates like a bloodshot effect um, which like I said if you follow Glam Gore you see her use it for like when she's been punched or when she's been strangled there's one where she does this um, Rapunzel strangle and so she has it in there um, and it looks fantastic so I've been wanting to get this for so 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 long I'm pretty sure it needs to be kept in the fridge though so I'm gonna have to move that to the fridge one of the things I found out is that it not just comes in red it comes in black as well which is definitely going to be the next one that I buy um, and it comes in like blue and it comes in yellow but black would be really cool and if you just imagine like getting black contacts as well and then you're crying black you could do that whole like American Horror Story type thing so that's definitely the next one I'm going to get um, this quite expensive this was $55 for this bottle and how many mils is it? it's only 20 mils so this is basically like gold. So that's all I got from Krylon. What I got next was from Scotty's. So um, I've never been to Scotty's before and it was pretty cool. I don't think it was as cool as Krylon, um, but they did have a lot of stuff, but they also had a lot of stuff that was sold out as well. I went onto the Scotty's website before I went to the store because um, they had the Skin Illustrator Alcohol Activated Palettes, which I really want to get. They said that they had um, the Flesh Tone one in stock, and then I went there and it wasn't in stock. They also said that they had the Bed Nye Nose and Scar Wax in stock in the big tubs, and I went there and it wasn't in stock. So I don't know if they have a different distributor for their online stuff, but that was pretty disappointing. Um, that being said, that was like the only disappointing thing about the store was the fact that they said they had these things in stock and that they didn't have them in stock and that's what created some issues. I only got a couple of things from there. So I, like I said, I got my alcohol activated palette. I ended up getting the Scotty's one. I don't know how much better or how much worse it's going to be um, than the Skin Illustrated palette, but it basically comes with all of the same colours. So you've got your flesh tones here. The one that I'm most interested in is your, what's it called, red adjuster and your lime adjuster. So I have, uh, parts of me are really, really pale and I have pink undertones. Parts of me are really quite tanned and I have olive undertones. So I'm that great amalgamation of two different types of skin tones. Um, so this is going to be really good for adjusting the colour of my nose and scar wax. Um, when I do wounds or my latex when I do wounds to make it look like it's actual flesh and not like it's fake caked on makeup sort of thing. Um, you've also got some orange adjuster for people who have orange skin tones. Um, you've got an excellent blue for doing veins which I'm really interested to use and then you've got like a darker brown colour as well. So if you're not aware as to how alcohol activated palettes work you can only use 99.9% .9 pure alcohol on them. Anything lower than that, they won't work. Basically, you drop a little bit into the palette, you put it on a brush, and then you use it. Like I said, these are advised that you don't use these around your eyes uh, because you're using basically almost 100% pure alcohol. The vapors get into your eyes, it can agitate, you got really sensitive skin around your eyes because it's a lot thinner. So it's advised that you don't use that. That's why I've got the super colours instead. Uh, but I'm really, really eager to use this. This is the thing that I've wanted to use the most. Um, like I said, I did want the Skin Illustrator brand, but I didn't manage to get it. I think, because I really want to get the FX palette as well, I think I'm going to save and I'm going to get the FX palette in the Skin Illustrator brand, depending on how this palette goes. If this palette goes well, I might as well just get the Scotty's version of it. If it doesn't go well, then I'll get the Skin Illustrator brand one. Next, like I said um, before about Nose and Scar Wax and how they said that they had a big tub of it and they didn't have a big tub of it, I ended up getting a tub of Ben Knight Nose and Scar Wax. So um, if you are subscribed to Powder, he is a Melbourne um, special effects makeup artist um, and he uses this a lot. He also uses his own homemade modeling wax, which I'm going to try and make as well. Um, so it just comes in a little pot and basically you just use a scalpel and you take it out and you mold it to what, where you want your wounds to go and you stick it on with either Prosade or Spirit Gum 
and then you colour it and all that sort of stuff like that. So I would have loved to have gotten the big tub, but uh, for now I just have the little tub. So we'll see how we go with that. I also got these bottles, so one of them is going to be filled with the alcohol so that I can just sort of drop it in using like the eyedropper rather than pouring it in, which is going to be really difficult with a bottle like that. And then I just got a spare one as well in case like I want to do put some fake blood in there or make my own fake blood, which I have done in the past and it actually works out really quite well. So these are always really good as well. And then the last thing I got was a little scalpel. Um, and the scalpel is basically just for creating sharp edges for my wounds and then creating like rounded edges and holes and stuff like that uh, for my wounds as well. So that's mainly for the nose and scar wax and any modeling wax that I'm going to make as well. One of the things that I loved about Scotty's was that they just had all the basics. So if you needed powder puffs, if you needed brushes, if you needed scalpels, if you needed eyedroppers, if you needed... Um, any tools basically like plastic disposable tools they had everything there it was really really fantastic they're also a really big stockist of Ben Nye products they have like a whole wall of just Ben Nye um, so if you're in Melbourne and you're struggling to find it um, and you don't want to buy it online I suggest you go to Scotty's if you're in Melbourne and you want to start making your sort of special effects or whether you're doing um, bridal makeup or whether you're doing just makeup that is um, special in terms of like you're doing cover-ups or you're doing tattoo covers and all that sort of stuff like that. I would suggest Krylon because they have amazing products. They're just so good. They're really, really good. So that was my Krylon and Scotty's special effects makeup haul. Um, I hope that you guys liked it. I will be starting fingers crossed hopefully starting my special effects channel where I'm going to be doing wounds and gouged out eyes and all those amazingly good awesome things and it's just in time for Halloween as well so if you're eager to see some tutorials on how to do stuff at home with products from home which is what I'm going to be focusing more on absolutely uh, keep an eye out for that in the meantime you can also subscribe to my um, YouTube channel if you have not already um, don't forget to like this video and I also have my Instagram up as well under Tina's Hair and Beauty which you can follow and I post up as regularly as I can I try to post up really regularly um, and that's basically all from me so I'll see you guys later bye <laughs>